Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to get great chroma key results with Sony Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 12. We're going to do this with a blue screen background as well as a green screen background. I'm going to show you how to get results that are just super sharp without any problems. Let's get started. Here on my timeline, I've pulled a video track with a blue background. You can see it right here. And the track has a woman sitting in a chair that has a mesh background, and these are hard to chroma key. She's holding a cat with a little bit of hair sticking out, and that's another thing that's hard to chroma key. And you can see that this is not very well lit because we've got wrinkles and we have other things going on. Still, we can get great chroma key with this. The first thing we'll want to do is go up and select Video Effects, and we do that by going up and clicking the Event Effects icon on the video track. And on the video track, what we're going to select is Sony Chroma Blur first, and then Sony Chroma Keyer. Then we're going to click OK. On the video events controls on Chroma Blur, we're going to push that up to about 166. You may want to go up to 199, but somewhere in that range. And now that we have that, we're going to click Chroma Keyer. So on the Chroma Keyer, we want to uncheck, which means turn off the Chroma Keyer. That allows us to see the blue background back here. And that's important because we're going to have to do a color swatch. And the way we do that is we put our mouse on the color bar here and then select the eyedropper and come over here and select the color that's fairly close to where our talent is sitting. And now that we've done that, we're going to go over and turn on Show Mask Only. And the reason we're going to do that is we want to see how the Chroma Key is going to work. And then once we turn on the Show Mask, we want to turn back on Chroma Key. And you can see how we have a ghosting effect. Now with the mask on, what we want is our talent to be all white. And the way we do that is we push the high threshold down, and you can see this getting wider and wider and wider. This tells us that's what's going to be chroma keyed. And if you look here, you can notice that even the little fine hairs that are sticking up on this cat are going to be chroma keyed, and that's what we want. And then we push the low threshold up so that we restore anything that we may have wiped out. So we want to get that so that it, almost everything is covered. And then once we have that, we can turn off show mask only to see how good a chroma key we have. And you can see how nice and sharp that is. Look how sharp those details are. And that's pretty amazing. Now if I play a little bit of this, you can see how good a chroma key we have with that blue background. You can see that even though she moves around, her hair is still chroma keyed. We don't have any blurring. We don't have any edges. We don't have any of the blue background showing through. So that worked out really well. Now we're going to do the same thing with a green chroma key. So we're going to come down here, and this is the green chroma key. And I've already applied it, but I'm going to turn it off, and we'll do it again. So to turn it off, what we do is we select Remove Selected Plugin, and we do that again, Remove Selected Plugin. So to apply the plugin, we do what we did before. We select Event Effects. We select Sony Chroma Blur, and then Sony Chroma Keyer, and then click OK. And on the Chroma Blur, we make sure that's selected here. We push that up somewhere between 166 and 190. Then once we have that, we select our chroma keyer. And just like we did before, we want to uncheck the chroma keyer. We want to select the color. We take the eyedropper and come over and choose a little bit of the background color, whatever that happens to be. We want to turn the chroma keyer back on. We want to select show mask only. We take our high threshold and we push it down. And we see the mask turning completely white. Once we have that, we bring up the low threshold until we bring our background back the way we want it. We have some really nice sharp edges that we can see. And then once we have it the way we want it, we deselect show mask only, and you can see the background. When we play this clip, we can see how well it works. And you can see the quality looks really good. It's very sharp. The edges are really sharp. Everything looks really good. Again, it's easy to do if you apply the chroma blur first and then the chroma key. You get really sharp results. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. You can find more like this at my website, which is www.bmyers.com. And you can find a whole lot more on my 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio DVD, which is available at my website as well as at Amazon.com.